Peace, shalom. Okay, like give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, bless him, Yahweh Shai. Okay, bless him, my Kakadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles, the great millstone, our elders of GMS. Okay, and salutation, and peace, and blessings to the whole for elect of the children of Israel, people of Negro Indian descent. Okay, fellow laborers that are filling up them gaps on the highways and the byways. Okay, who are also the faith based Israelites. Okay, Israelite foreigners as well. That's, Yahweh bless you, Yahweh trying to scatter his people amongst the heathen nations. And those Israelites have the spirit of Yahweh bless you, Yahweh Shai, but have, you know, but look like the heathen nations, you know. And you women as well that's waking up to the pollutions of this world, looking to escape them and learn and the discipline and the truth of the reality of these scriptures. All right, um, present this here with you this um, example of adultery, whether it's a joke a comedy skit or whether it's real. The thing is with this, um, this way of thinking is, which is destructive and deadly, uh, toward our people is, it's just still heavily been, um, uh, plaguing our nation, adultery, adultery, man. And again, reading through the comic, the comments, when you watch these again, whether it's real or a comedy goddamn skit, reading the comments showing you that where the minds of, um, uh, uh, these uh, two-third fools are, you know, don't understand um, this uh, plague of uh, adultery is a, um, a wicked act, you know. It's to the point now, it's just they're accepting it as n the norm, you know, until it, it, even when it affects them, it hurts them, to, hurts them, uh, a foolish-ass man to the bone, but he continues on living in that uh, abominable Heathenous uh, 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 lifestyle, adultery, which is the same time adultery, man, is a um, you're sleeping with another man's wife. Uh, I mean, you, you ain't nothing but a, 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 a sodomite, your damn self, you know. You ain't nothing but a sodomite, you know, because you, you, you're uh, you're, uh, you're 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 enjoying that man as well. You know, but um, I'm going to let this play and I'm going to come back with a couple of scriptures. And I really should actually should have actually went through the comment boards, because like I said, 100 percent of the comments showing you that the people are um, in a dead state, a straight up dead state with meaning lack of absolutely no understanding. But listen to this and look at this, man. It's, and this is the reality of what's going on. I mean, they even call it what? My work husbands and work wives. Man, these people need to be put to death. And they will. Yeah, but hurry up and put it in because we only got 15 minutes left on our break. Hello? Yeah, babe. I'm sorry. I didn't even get to go on my break yet. Mm. I was supposed to go on my break, but this girl went before me. All right. Okay. All right. Love you, too. Bye. Mm. See what I mean? Hello? <laughs> yeah, babe. That's reality there. You know? Powerful scripture here. This is Sharak 26. Let me see if I can find notes in here somewhere. Hold on. Um, this whole 26 chapter is fire. You know, pretty much telling you to the point that these women, are, if it favors them, if it benefits them, they're going to they're going to they're going to always open their legs, man. They're going to always open their legs. Like verse 12 says, she will open her, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. But the point is in 11. I should have, let me, I slock it. Let me just really read 11 first. W watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. Impu impudent. Impudent, meaning I'm 
such not showing due respect for another person. You know, you even shit. I can imagine. You know, I, I that memory still stuck in my head. Experiencing being with a female, an Israelite female at that. Chick was from Chicago, bad as hell. Cool though, you know, cool. I mean, but still, at the same time, I mean, out in the public, she's literally eyeing every goddamn thing. And it was always on a continuous basis, always. But at the same time, this demon would still cook, uh, uh, look out for you financially, uh, physically, you know, sexually. But at the same time, no discipline whatsoever. This girl was hardcore ghetto, man. Worked. She worked, you know, worked hard. Worked hard every day. Didn't depend on no man whatsoever. But no discipline whatsoever. Been out in public with this fool. But it was just to the point like, oh man, you know, I don't care. You know, that was my that was my attitude. I don't care. You know, this ain't my this ain't my woman. But at the same time, man, this bitch was my 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 one of my wives. <laughs> you know, that was the reality. You know, I, I can come and go as I please. I can, you know, at any time of the day, any hours, it was never questioned or never, what, what you doing? What you want? You know, no, nah, I'm doing, I'm busy, you know, but, but had no discipline whatsoever and showed no signs of sleeping around, but had absolutely no discipline. Would look, I mean, literally, you out in public, she looking at niggas like, I got one thought, I mean, like, literally like that. No disrespect, no respect whatsoever. No respect whatsoever. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. A, a nutcase at that. A nutcase. Wasn't happy unless you uh, damn near to the point of choking her fucking life out or knocking her out. She was into that. She was crazy, man. She was crazy, literally. That was a hell of an experience. Experiences a female like that. But, you know, that's this world. Again, not showing due respect for another person. All right. What is an, what is an impudent person? Show scorn for or disregard of others. You want to talk about some reality there. It's a re, that was a re, this is, these scriptures is a reality check. That's what they are. So again, watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. And trespassing meaning committing adultery and opening her legs to other men. You know, don't be all, oh, baby, I'm kill, I'm going to kill myself. Or I'm going to kill you. You know, don't be all, you know, lost in the sauce and, and, and hurt. You know? It's, you, honestly, in all reality, it's just something you just got to expect. You just got to expect it's going to happen sooner or later, you know. And and, and I mean, and listen, these are the, and we're we don't have no control over this, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, these are curses that are that was put on us for being disobedient against our power. Curses put on us by the true living power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And there's nothing we can do about it until he lifts it. You don't have no magical, no magical rod. None of us do. We may think we do. We may feel like we do <laughs> in, most, in a lot of cases. Let's consider ourselves the top performers. You know, none of us got the magic rod, man. This woman's going to do her thing, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Until these curses are lifted. Okay. Verse 12. She will open her mouth she will open her mouth. Isn't that, I mean, don't, don't go home beating your wives. Don't go home beating your wives. Well, your girl, your girl is your wife, man. Don't go home beating them. Don't leave them. I mean, if, if she's doing well by you, deal with it, man. You know, because if you, if you honestly don't know a woman and her, and her kitty, man, then you have no, don't even bother with it, you know? We can bother with you. If you don't know a woman in her, what's between her legs and how it speaks to you and what it's telling you, then 
Don't bother by it, man. Just let the let your how about shimmy how side deal with it. Because that day's coming where he's gonna deal, he's gonna and again, as we as I'm speaking, judgment's taking place, man. A lot of these adulterers and adulteresses are being judged as I speak, man. Oh, I think just yesterday, two days ago, two in the last actually in the last few days, I think three women were murdered in uh Columbus, Ohio. Now these these deaths are all sanctioned through your how about shimmy how shy. It just forms a just judgment, man. You know, three women were put were put down. <laughs> you know, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he have found a fountain, and drink of every water near her. You see, we can those of us that know we know through the spirit what that means and drink of every water near her. It's more than just, I mean, really. Like I said, especially if it benefits them, you know, especially the nigga woman, if it benefits her, she going, she going to do her thing without a second thought, without hesitation, you know, by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against, it says every arrow against every arrow, you know? Whew. That's why you have to pray. Why? Because these curses, you want these curses to be lifted. You know, we went out of here. We we just simply just went out of here. You know, we went out of here. <laughs> you know, what is what does Solomon say? Um, uh, amongst the, uh, a thousand men. Hold on. <sighs> Come on. Sorry, I went too far here. Wait a minute, what? Here we go. This should be it right here. No, what? I'm probably I'm probably spelling it wrong. Where is it among? I'll find it. I'm getting no love here. Here we go. <laughs> I like it eventually. You gotta stay with it. You got to stay with it. Here we go. Ecclesiastes 725. I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things. Oh, there we go. We're giving you the reason of these things. Why? Because the Israelite man is under these curses, you know, and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. It's, I mean, come on, it's, 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 it's madness for a woman to literally think that she, it's okay for her to open her quiver to multiple multitudes and multiple multitudes of men. You know, it's madness for her to think that way. And then to think that she's above you, you know, and then to think that it's okay for her to throw the father for children out and then have other multiple, multiple men around her children. Who cares if the children are grown, living together, and it, it, it continues on. She's around. She has a man that has no business being in her and around her. You know, they all are looking to living a happy, uh, living happily ever after. <laughs> the, 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 the adulterous woman and the adulterous man and the children. You know, even tell the, 
even tell the adulterer, I love you, you know, stepdad. I mean, it's a mad, mad world we're living in. You know, it's a mad, mad world we're living in. And it's going to be corrected, but it's not going to be corrected as if it's a simple thing is just taking an eraser and erasing a mistake in writing. This 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 mistake is going to be corrected in a in a way that you don't expect, in a way that you don't want. Death and destruction is going to take place. You know, judgment's going to take place. You know, because like I said, going through the comment boards, there was literally no one in the comments that had any damn sense whatsoever to to even mention um, a righteous, a righteous judgment, right? You know, and unrighteous acts and judge the cause accordingly, you know? So don't think you have that special woman. Oh, she's not going to, she's, you know, sooner or later, it's a curse, man. Sooner or later. And it's a blessing. If you don't, not saying that it don't exist, you know, I can't answer for that, but I can tell you that it, it, these curses is real. You don't have that special one. Don't count on having that special one and putting your guard down. Okay. And that's what the scripture is saying. It says here in 26, and I find more bitter than death, the woman whose heart is snares and nets in her hands as bands. Whoso pleases the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found, said the preacher, counting one by one to found find out the account which yet my soul seeketh but i find not one man among a thousand have i found but a woman amongst all those have i not okay read it again which yet my soul select it but behold this have i found said the preacher counting one by one to find out the account which yet my soul seeketh but i find not one man among a thousand have I found, but a, a woman amongst all those have I not found. So you're more than likely going to find which we're out there fishing for men. And you see how hard that is fishing. You know, as far as catching and reeling it in and keeping it, you see how difficult that is. You know. But amongst a woman, again. You're a fool to, to think that you meet something because it looks good. It may smell good at the moment. You done found you a good one. Man, you done lost. You're lost. Lo, this only have I found that the Most High have made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. And one of those many inventions is an adulterous ass woman. A woman, um, these fools of these, today's world don't really don't get turned on a, 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 uh, toward a a woman unless they find out how foul she's in and how loose she is. But, you know, we're pretty much in a time of awakening now where more and more Jake's is actually finding out about this woman and waking up to these women, which is a good thing, you know. But look what, what we had to endure to get to where we're at. Look what we've witnessed, you know. Look what we've witnessed to this point to where we're at now, man. We've witnessed the worst and it's going to get worse. Just wait till these women get that opportunity to turn against the men of the Lord. Whew, the worst is yet to come. The worst is yet. I'm, so I'm going to close with this. If I can find. Oh, that's the Lord speaking here. That's, that's speaking about that word adulterous. Let me go to Matthews. Or Mark. And look what he referred to it as. Whosoever, Mark 8 and 38, whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. Ooh, this what we're living in now. An adulterous and sinful generation. Everybody's popping each other's wives and wives laying with everybody's, every, every damn man she can. Of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels. Those chairs of Matthews, here we go. Six and three, and in the morning it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowery. Oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it. 
of the son of the prophet Jonas and let them and all and he left them and departed. Okay, let me find this scripture down. I'm looking for the adulteress and the adulteress. Oh, there we go. Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife. Remember that wife is, you know, is girlfriend. See, that girlfriend, that bullshit is just modern day, Matt. It's girlfriend and boyfriend. That's modern day bullshit. That's modern day heathen madness. All right. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Look forward to seeing more and more deaths take a place. And don't sit back and wonder, oh, and wonder why. I wonder why that happened. Why, why, why? You know, do the spirit, those, the, those of us that got sense enough to know why. We know why. You know, it's an adulterous generation of vipers and snakes, man. You know? Let me go this. If a man committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, both the man and the woman who have committed adultery must be put to death. Ooh, must, must. That's this is how the, our Lord is thinking. Must be put to death. The eye also, Job twenty four and fifteen. The eye also of the adulterer waited for the twilight, saying, "No eye shall see me," and disguises his face while. I mean, I wanted to read that one in the. Let me pull it back up, though. Let me see if it comes back up. Ooh, Jeremiah 23 and 10, for the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing, the land mourneth, the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. Hosea 7 4, they are all adulterers, as an oven heateth by the baker, who ceases from raising after he hath kneaded the dough until it is leaven. Let me go into that. Let's see what it's giving me. In the day of our king, the prince had made him sick with bottles of wine. He stretched out his hand with scorners, for they had made ready their heart like an oven while they lie in wait. Their baker sleepeth all the night. In the morning, it burneth as a flaming fire. They are all hot as an oven and have devoured their judges. All their kings are fallen. There is none amongst them that calleth unto me. Ooh, that's fire. Malachi 3 and 5 is nice. Let me do this again. Uh, I pretty much lost the scripture that I wanted to go into the NLT and read, but let me continue on digging. She was adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. 
Deuteronomy 5.19, neither shalt thou commit adultery. Proverbs 6 and 32, but whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding, he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. So, I'm going to leave it at that, y'all, so. Look how much adultery is in, in these scriptures, adulterous and you know, that's that's disgusting in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. An adulterous act, man. You can go, you can you commit a, the adultery. We commit a, against our power of adultery, you know, serving other gods. And, you know, it covers that as well. So imagine the power, the true living power, see you serving other gods. And what is it saying? That's part of the commandments. Thou shalt have no other gods before him. You know, that's jealousy. And, 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 and imagine you commit adultery against him. He put your ass to death. You commit adultery against your, your neighbor. He put your ass to death. You know, so it's, 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 he's, he is, it makes him furious in his eyes, man. Furious, blood red. You know, you catch a woman committing adultery and you turn your eyes turn literally blood red, man. You know, blood red. Imagine the true living power. You how about Shimyah Shalom.